Hi, today we are going to take a look at the FS graph algorithm. If you missed the graph basic concept video, I highly recommend you to take a look at the graph basic concept video first so that you can understand this video well. Before we go over, if you are interested in the Python implementation, you can go to my GitHub and take a look. So here is the graph as an example, and the vertex list is this list has all the vertexes inside it and uh, here is the edge list this is an direct graph and so we have 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 2, 2 to 0 and so on and this one is adjacency list adjacency list is made by the vertex list and the edge list which is basically list of list so here index 0 has 1 and 2 since the index 0 Vertex 0 has edge to 1 and 2 and uh, index 1 has 0 and 3 because this 1 has edge to 0 and 3 and so on. So here is the example. The BFS is basically using Q. So I'm going to use this Q and run this example. We are going to start from the 0. So I'm going to put this 0 in the Q and dq this one to current and uh, in q all the neighbors from the zero one is going here two is going in the q and then you are going to move this to visited node and i'm going to mark this one as visited as green color so during this while loop i'm going to pop this out and i'm going to in q this one to the q and uh, mark 1 as visited and then dq2 and uh, two's neighbor are 0, 4, 5 0 we already have visited so I'm going to move 4 to the q and 5 and mark 2 as visited q3 and we already have visited one so there is no neighbor we will put this into queue so I'm going to move this 3 to the visited and the mark 3 as visited the next is moving this 4 to here and uh, in queue this 6 into the queue and mark 4 as visited And then DQ this one, and there's no neighbor, so I'm going to move this one to the visited. I'm going to DQ the last item here, and there's no neighbor, we have not visited yet, so I'm going to move this to visited and mark this node as visited. There is no item in the queue, so this while loop is done. So here's the result. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it. When do we use BFS? Well, usually um, during the interview, maybe the interviewer ask you to find the shortest path. And uh, you can use BFS to find the shortest path using the Dijkstra algorithm. Well, I'm going to go over Dijkstra algorithm using BFS in the next video. Well, then see you on the next video. Thank you.